are a few more examples. If this is our original equation, that a plus b is going to become 2c, we would end up being able to say that k sub c is c squared over a b, and that would be defined as k sub 1. All right, so this is our basic one. This one, how does this relate to the equation? Well, it's changed which is reactant, which is product, but it has also had everything multiplied by two. When we try to figure out what k sub c is, we end up flipping up and down, right? Because we flipped products and reactants, we end up flipping the numerator and the denominator. This was multiplied by two as well. This will be raised to the power two. Well, one to the second is still one, but k sub one then would be squared. It would be on the bottom. Here's another example. In this one, it's still in the same order, but it's half of that original equation. So here it is in the same order, but all of the exponents have been halved. In other words, it is still k sub 1, but it's been square rooted, k sub 1 to the 1 half power. And then this one has just simply been flipped. There it is, flipped. So it's just 1 over k1. Make yourself comfortable with each of those. You might want to do them in the opposite order, for example, to try to make yourself more comfortable with them. And here we have more examples of applying the rules, especially this one about scaling a reaction by n raises k to the nth power. Here's the original one. It's at 500 degrees Kelvin. We find out it's the k is 160. Oh, we're trying to show that this also happens if you're doing the pressure-based equilibrium constant. For the second one, this one is doubled. That means this ended up getting squared for two and two. These were all doubled. This whole thing is like the original squared. And you can come up with the number there. And then this one is backwards. Doesn't matter, even if it's done with pressures, it's still gonna end up being one over the original. And then you can figure out what the number is with your calculator. We can look at adding reactions. Here is a reaction, and then here is a continuing reaction. So this would be like the first step of a mechanism and the second step of a mechanism being an overall equation. The overall equation, we expect to have the products over the reactants. Each of these, we have the products over the reactants. If I'm trying to add these two together, I end up multiplying the equilibrium constants. When I multiply those equilibrium constants, I discover that C and D above and below are going to cancel and I'll end up with the end one over the beginning one. So this and this end beginning. This makes a lot of sense. It, it goes along very well with the kinetics that we learned earlier.